Good morning everybody. It's nearly seven o'clock. It's a little bit late, but it's time to milk the goat. And I needed Nathan to help me to film, so that's why it's seven and not 6.30. So when I get ready to milk, what I'll do is I just get an old little bucket um, that I fill with hot water um, and some clean cloths. Uh, I take out a saucepan that holds about a litre and a half and we're going go and milk. The current temperature there is one degree. <laughs> the joys of farming in winter. Even though it's absolutely freezing, this is honestly one of the best reasons to get up early. Even if you stay in your house to see it, but on a clear day, we get the most spectacular view, spectacular sunrises here where we live. And it makes the cold, being out in the cold, so worth it. One of the things we grew, um, grew here over the summer were zucchinis and anyone that's grown zucchinis before knows that they get massive really quick if you take your eye off them and so we've saved all of those and they store really well and then we just chop them up for her to eat as part of her treats. Okay so once she's got her head um, secured so she can't sort of get out she can happily eat away her treats and I just get some soap on a damp butter and just give her a, a really good wash that's really important for her udder health um, and just so that she, we're not introducing any infection uh, Matt, uh, Topsy has had mastitis before which was not fun um, for her or for us we had to take her to the vet in the car we got her in the back seat um, and so yeah so now we wash her with that and it's been working really well and then we use these clean cloths um, just to clean her down and then the last one um, is really just to clean the teats and it's good to not swap the cloth over like don't use the same cloth on both udders like on the teats okay so she's all clean so then what I do is um, I'll actually do a couple of squirts first just to strip the teats first so I'll just do that into this bucket of water and then it's time to milk As long as she's got treats in her trough, she's really good at just standing here and letting me milk away. And so there's a bunch of things that we put in her treats as well. So um, in her mix of grains, she's got um, well, she's got lucerne char, oat and char. Uh, she's got oats, and she's got a goat pellet, which is which has a bit more protein for her. Um, and we also put a mineral mix as well, um, a teaspoon, a tablespoon of some minerals sprinkled over the top, which you didn't see me do that, but uh, that just helps her get all the trace elements that she needs for good health as well. So you can see how quick it is. It doesn't take long to milk a goat. We're already at the, probably close to a litre mark. And while I'm milking, I get to look out at that view. Once the other's fairly empty, you can see there's not too much coming out. 
uh, you give their udder a little bit of a knock, just like a baby kid would. So they knock their mother's udder and that helps the rest of the milk to drop down and that's really important because it actually helps just to totally empty the udder which is important um, to prevent mastitis and things like that. So you can see a bit more comes out then. And that's it. Beautiful, fresh, frothy goat's milk. <laughs> that only takes me about, I don't know, how long have we been here for? Maybe five minutes to, to milk just over a litre of milk. Alright, we're done. So it's time for her to go back out and do some more weed management. Thank you for your milk. Your face scratched.